we have reached the final four of Big Brother 26 with the vote out of Kimo yesterday. The last time I recorded a video on Wednesday night was when Chelsea and Cam seemed to be flop, well, flip-flopping to vote out Rubina instead of Kimo. That seemed to have changed pretty last minute yesterday before the eviction when they decided to get out Kimo instead. Apparently, I've heard online that when that was happening before the flip back to voting out Kimo, people were acting like Cam was some sort of mastermind because of allegedly getting Chelsea to vote out Kimo. As I said in the last video on Wednesday, I that wasn't even Cam's best move. I don't know. I feel like people maybe are trying to give Cam too many cre too much credit these days. Maybe they just don't want to give Chelsea all the credit that she does deserve. I don't know. But Cam's been pretty good for nothing except having his own little likable social game this entire season. Chelsea won last night's HOH, making the final three. And to no surprise, MJ won today's veto, also making the final three. Those two have definitely controlled the past few weeks because they are the best people at comps left in the game. Um, it is kind of serving a little bit Jag and Matt at the end of last season when nobody could beat them. But I still think the comps are actually more fair compared to what last seasons were when they were a lot of physical comps and Jag was beating old people. It's, it's still nice to see women control the end game for once. It never really happens. Chelsea did nominate MJ and Cam instead of putting Rubina on the block. I guess that was maybe to try and gain a little bit of favor with Rubina. Also, MJ volunteered to go on the block because it's it's been the season of volunteering to go on the block. So that kind of made things a little easier for Chelsea's HOH. But at Final Four HOH, the HOH's decisions don't matter. All that mattered was veto. MJ won the veto. And now MJ can decide who goes home between Cam and Rubina. For MJ's game, in theory, it is probably best for her to cut Cam, maybe. MJ is kind of in a rock and a hard place. In order to make the final two, it might be best for her game to cut Cam this week in hopes that if Rubina somehow wins the final three, then Rubina would take MJ over Chelsea. The biggest issues with that is Rubina's not going to win the final HOH. Like, she's only won one comp all season and it was an AI arena. She has not been able to win anything. She was horrible in BB Comics. It sounds like she was last in the veto today. So if you're really just keeping Rubina in some sort of hope that Rubina, when she finally wins a real comp that isn't just AI Arena, it's going to be the final 3H and she's going to be able to take you to the end. It's kind of a reach. And it's also not like Cam's been great at competitions either because... He hasn't won anything either except for a veto. He, I think he was allegedly second in today's veto. But if MJ cuts Cam here, it's like she's probably losing a jury vote, though. I, I guess that's the rock and the hard place. Is it a good idea to keep Rubina when she's not going to win a competition and give up a jury vote with Cam. And you can say if it's MJ and Chelsea at the end, Cam's just going to vote for Chelsea anyway, sure. But if MJ, for some reason at Final 3, which I don't even know if she would do, wins Final 3 HOH and cuts Chelsea and goes to the end of Rubina, she very well could lose from a bitter jury to Rubina. And I think Rubina would actually be a much worse winner than MJ. As bad of a winner as MJ would probably be, Rubina would be worse because Rubina did not have a game all season. It would be 
the second coming, I guess, of a, of a Jordan win, who was another pretty terrible winner. As I've said many times this season, nobody's going to top Jag as a, a, the worst winner of all time like last season because he was evicted pre-jury unanimously. But Rubina would be a bad winner. And MJ wouldn't be that much better. And if MJ wins, it kind of creates a trend on this show where for two seasons in a row, there's a winner that didn't have a brain. So it's like, hmm... Is that the reputation the show wants? That you could win this game by being dumb as hell all season long if you could just comp out at the end? Not not a great look. Um, Cam as a winner. I just don't see Cam getting a winning vote against anyone left. I don't even know if Cam could be MJ in a final two. So... That really just leaves one of the women winning this season, in my opinion. I really have a hard time seeing Cam win the game against anybody. Obviously, as we discussed many times, Chelsea would be the best winner. Chelsea would be a great winner. There's been a lot of talk on social media that... I've seen clips from other podcasts that were kind of annoying. I mean... They were talking about on Rob Has a Podcast how Chelsea's not a flawless player, but I don't know anybody that was saying that Chelsea is a flawless player. But I also kind of understand that at this point in the game, there's only so much you can talk about. That's why my videos are short at this point. They're always like under 20 minutes. Anyway, but now they're kind of under 10 minutes because we're at an aim and we're at an end game where everything's kind of just it is what it is at this point. We know everyone's game. And the end of Big Brother is kind of, it, it does kind of come down to comps. So, yeah. But still, there are people I've seen, specifically mostly clips from Rob has a podcast of people trying to downplay Chelsea's game. And I just don't think it can be downplayed. We've never seen a woman on this show. We've seen them on Survivor, but we've never seen a woman on Big Brother truly dominate the game as a well-rounded player not only with the strategies which she's great at but comps she has a she could break a record if she wins the final hoh winning a record amount of hohs in a season but she also has a really good social game the thing that annoyed me with the clip of rob has a podcast is them trying to say that chelsea like doesn't make decisions well because she has sort of flip-flopped but to me that has been a part of her social game if anybody was truly watching the feeds they would see that some of these rounds chelsea plants seeds early in the round then she tells people what they want to hear because she wants them to feel like she's listening to them and then towards the end of a round she tries to get what she wants to make happen that's been her social game. And I, I understand why people on Rob Has a Podcast don't understand that because they are socially awkward people usually on that podcast. So it's very understandable. I mean, you could just watch this season of Survivor and see somebody from that podcast play the game and be socially awkward as well and go home early because they don't have a strong social game. So sometimes you shouldn't really be listening to some of these people on some of these podcasts because they don't understand social game. Chelsea not only is great strategically, she has a solid social game. Could she still have a better jury? I have my doubts. You know, you see in the episode, the jury segment, that Angela is saying she doesn't want to see Chelsea win. That's all fine and dandy from Angela. But if Angela had no agency socially in the game... How is she going to have agency socially on the jury? Is anybody going to listen to Angela and want to be bitter towards Chelsea besides maybe Leah? I have a hard time seeing that happening. In fact, Angela's social game is so bad within the game, I can see if Angela doesn't want Chelsea to win so much, people voting for Chelsea to win just because Angela doesn't want her to win. That's how terrible of a social game Angela played this season, and that's what her jury life may be like. We don't know yet. We've seen bitter juries a lot on this show, so it is still possible. But at this point, Chelsea will not be Ika Wonged, like Big Brother Canada 5, where the best player went home at Final Four. 
Shuo could still be vanessa as we saw in Big Brother 17 where the best player was cut at Final 3. That could still happen. She also could still be pulled where the, the best player loses to a bitter jury. But she has not played as bad of a social game as Paul did. Paul pissed off a lot of people. Chelsea has maybe pissed off a few right now. She still has potential to do so. But at this point, if they don't vote for Chelsea, it's really just sour grapes. It's not like her soldier game was bad where she like was getting unnecessarily blood on her hands. That did not happen. So it would just truly be sour grapes like Angela has if Chelsea makes the final two and doesn't get the winning vote. We will see what happens. MJ has a decision to make, as I said at the beginning of this video. Yeah, you can say she should keep Rubina because maybe by some miracle, Rubina is going to win the final three HOH even though she can't win a comp to save her life and then cut Chelsea and keep MJ. But in doing so, MJ might just be furthering her own jury demise by cutting Cam when they've had this final three scenario going for so long now. She could just lose Cam's jury vote even against Rubina, in my opinion if she goes that direction. 